Hi, and this is Heather from CloudSponge. Now that you've watched our first video on preparing for Google OAuth, I'm going to show you how to make your demo video as well as justify your scopes before you submit for verification. Um, so to begin, I am working in a demo environment. It is very bare bones, so we'll have to use our imagination a little bit here. Um, but before we start making our video, there is one thing we need to take care of. We're going to go through this. Um, it's a quick workaround so that Google doesn't push back on your um, scopes that you're asking for. So you're going to go click advanced, go to spongecrunch.com, which will actually be your website. And then these three grayed out boxes are the things we don't want Google to see. So we're just going to submit without clicking the two scopes that we are trying to get verified for. And at that point, you can just close it all out. And this is when you'll begin recording for your video. Um, we're going to pretend like I have a refer a friend form in here. And uh, what we need to do is show Google exactly how we want our users to use to get access to their Google contacts. And so we'll have our refer a friend form up and we'll click at add from address book, sign into Google. This step here is very important. You need to make this window big so, and point out your client ID to them. And you also want to show them the privacy policy, just pointing to it or highlighting it should be enough. And then you're gonna click through just like we did before advanced, go to the unsafe site, and then here, similar, we want them to see everything. And we're going to very dramatically click on these scopes and click continue. You're going to select some contacts, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, obviously, Andre the Giant, best wrestler of all time. And then how you would end this is you would send off that referral. Um, what we're actually going to do now is stop the video, in essence, and save it to our desktop. Now that you've finished your video and saved it to your desktop, you're going to upload it to YouTube. So we'll do that here. And then we'll give it a name. Um, we're just going to call this one our demo OAuth video. And we want to make sure that it's not for kids. We're going to click next, next again. And this should take just a moment. Okay, and then we want to publish this as unlisted and copy our link and then we're going to save it. Okay, so now that that's complete, we can come back over here and you'll click prepare for verification. You could double check everything on this screen. Make sure your app name, your email, your logo, your home page, privacy link, everything is correct. Save and continue. And then we're going to justify the scopes as well as add our video. So here I will add my new link. And then let me show you what we do for the scopes. Uh, so basically you need to tell Google why you want these scopes, what you're going to do with them. So this is what I typically use. Um, let Google know that we want to use their contacts or Google contacts so that users can pick their friends to send out a referral. And so basically you can just insert your use case there, whether it's um, for referrals or inviting someone to a newsletter, whatever your use case is, just explain it to Google. The second part is about the other contacts. Um, if you're confused about that, that's okay, we all are. <laughs> but basically what Google did was they split their scopes into two. One is uh, for any saved contacts in your Gmail account. And the other one is for what they call other contacts. That would be anybody that you've emailed but have not specifically saved in your contacts list. Like most of us, your users probably aren't saving their contacts. They likely have thousands of people they talk to or have talked to that aren't saved in their address books. So that's where other contacts comes in. And what you want Google to know is that you need other contacts 
so that users have the same experience when they're interacting with their list of contacts. So we just use these responses here. Um, basically, these are our canned responses now. You're welcome to use it as well. It will get you through verification. All right, so once you've um, double-checked your scopes, justified it in text, and uploaded your video, you save and continue. And you can bypass this, this part here. Again, double check all of your work. And then you'll go back to dashboard and you're gonna submit for verification. Google can take a couple of days. If they email you with any pushback, just make sure that you email them back and let them know that you fixed whatever it is that they had a problem with. But rest assured, if you follow these videos and the directions that I've given you, you should be approved by Google. Thank you and good luck.